It can be hard sharing what you know to be true with other individuals. It can be hard connecting with other individuals, especially if you can't relate to them or you're a nonconformist much like me. But there is a need, however, to connect with individuals, especially if you want the world to be a better place, which is part of the reason why I've been creating so many awesome events lately with my friend St. John Peniel Tridester, who has his own channel as well, you can check out, but we're doing such great get togethers and I want you to do the same thing in your area if possible or in general just connect with others. But in this video we're going to be getting more deep into what does that mean. Well, it is hard to understand other people and therefore it can be hard to sympathize with them to then ultimately help empower them. And it isn't hard when you have more of an open mind, but especially if you have an open heart. And if you form hatred around something or an attachment or inversely a care, then you will have your strong bias where the heart closes and hence the mind closes also. The heart leads the way, however, even when a mind is dictated by facts. For it is because the question is what facts and why these facts, or even how those facts are obtained. The matters becomes of the heart, or at least it becomes something that cannot be ignored. In the same sense, those people whom you wish to ignore, by not wanting to understand them, you will need to not ignore, especially since you may become one of them without that understanding, or they may further dwell in their condition without your guidance. You may even claim that you could understand others, but without having to guide them, so to direct yourself. But how far can you go yourself until you need others, and how far far will your life go until others come to affect you and you need to confront others? For all these facts, among especially the fact that we are all living in the same life with different experiences, we prove the basic underlying fact that we should respect and care to understand all of humanity, especially including every point of view. Indeed, every single point of view. Now, while this is not entirely entirely possible, it can be striven for, and in connection between points of views gathered for one individual to two individuals together, the points of view multiplies until you have innovation, evolution, great realization, and pattern recognition. You're bringing people together, which is why I do that at a lot of our events, and I don't go in with a major plan. Just by bringing people together, everything works out on its own. Okay, so even as things may become generalized in the mass media world or of certain particular figures of influence, recognizing what created this is the roots to this manifesto. It is the understanding of one individual to another. The concepts and theories and ideas distort the individual which very well may have exceptions and places which would otherwise go overlooked and ignored by the overarching shadow of a label or assumption. And I say all this as a practitioner of isolation or solitude, better yet to be said as contemplation and meditation, reflecting and grounding. As I broke down one word to another, it gave semblance to digestion of concepts, conceptions. And without digestion, nutrients are not absorbed, no matter how potent. Without faith in healing, be it in the body or of the mind from themselves or another, a being is never healed from their disease. In a great sense, all argument is formed from discontent in the heart to expressive outlets, even as the mind may give credence to this. If one does not have discontent and learns to accept accept whatever condition it is, as it is, they can come from the most powerful position in reality, the present and open. Holding on to the past is an impossibility, since change is law, but such being said, the present past is nature, and that too is law, as is knowing change is law. We may say then that we may learn from the past, but so too can we learn from the present, because it becomes the soon past, and we even have the ability to learn more, being that we are there.
Often so, people accept facts, though they were never there. They've never seen it, they don't know except for what is said and presumed. This internet culture detaches individuals from nature not in the fact that what was learned may not be true, but because it isn't natural fact, that of which is the present past, otherwise said as what has always existed. Natural fact is that which is true of nature, and therefore an action can be observed ever as that action, a thing can be observed ever as that thing. While many would argue for knowing of history, certain people, or events, these are all temporary, these are unnatural facts. The natural facts would include that humans breathe, that humans are human for instance. And if there be a greater truth beyond such use of words for greater natural fact, like if you were to say humans are just energy, then you may just say humans are energy, or all is energy. The road can lead to semantics, but that was always your choice, despite how many more arguments would take place over unnatural facts as because these are less provable and not present. Indeed, I recognize them myself as unprovable in existence, but these words ever present, are they not? The language and comprehension of words, perhaps that's a different story. The date and how exactly I wrote these words, that's a different story. So see, I should expect none to understand me because you are not me, but also because one of many perspectives will always have a new lesson to share, being that they always have a new lesson to learn, being that the lesson is currently always being learned. So in embracing this fact of our nature, the fact our mind must keep up with our reality, that we must learn in order to know what to do, tells us why we ultimately must understand human beings, no matter who they are or what they've done. And in understanding others, it requires being there with them, questioning openly, like a doctor who wants to best know their patient, or a spouse wanting to best know their partner. The relationship is formed, as we are bound to each other in this reality, and absolutely have the ability to help each other as well. And in feeding one way or doing some certain thing, you can expect a certain way or certain thing. Understanding is bound to respect. In order for us to manifest a world of love, we must drop our need to control or to be ignorant, and rather to allow freedom and real leadership, which involves guidance and empowerment, both of oneself and toward others. Respect means to see ourselves again, and indeed, when we put ourselves in others' shoes, or we realize we've done something wrong, we actually come to see more about ourselves because we see the reality that is bound to ourselves. The isolation helps us work on this relationship directly, and the socialization helps us work on this indirectly. Thus, your greatest relationship is with yourself, your body, your world, and others are in the same process who you may build a relationship with, though for an ever greater one. Love is great, but life is greater, for love being the answer can never be unless nature is the answer. So this is an article that I wrote for the liberator.us, and you can send me your article, I'll turn it into a video for you. Remember, watch your thoughts, they become your words. Watch your words, they become actions. Watch your actions, they become habits. Watch your habits, they become character, and watch your character, it becomes your destiny. This is the key, and that's a common quote that you might see among Eastern traditions, Lao Tzu and Buddha and Swangza and many Eastern philosophers talking about that idea of what you choose to do will ultimately feed into. So if you choose to be with more people and find more freedom like minds, you will find them. And I have found them. You know, by just taking a little bit of effort out of my box to find them and create events and network with other people who already are doing that. Because there's people everywhere who are like you who feel the same way that you do. And so there is a need to connect with others. There is a need to create freedom in the world. And because there's that demand, all there is left is the supply. Thank you very much for watching. Go to the liberator.us. That's the liberator.us. Take care.